What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprice with another video. Y'all can see this weather is getting uglier by the day. We are getting cold weather now, so you know we gotta rock hoodies now. We don't have that good weather like everybody else like down south or east coast. You know they be having that warm weather. We get cold weather. We start off with some cold, then some snow, then some ice. But Anyways guys, today we're going to go check out a 1996 Chevy Impala SS Super Sport. Um, that is at a dealership. I actually know the owner selling the car. Uh, we're going to go check it out, just see what it is. Uh, I've seen the car before in person, but it's not the same as like actually try to buy it. You know, you check it out differently. Uh, I'm just not that kind of be walking other people's cars and check it, you know. I mean, it's their cars, so why would I be inspecting it? But when you're buying a car, you actually do inspect it because you're buying something for you, for your likes, and you know, you gotta make sure you buy what you like. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Um, I'm just gonna go check it out, really. I mean, no tow truck, I'm by myself, so uh, it's not guaranteed I'm gonna buy it. I'm just gonna go check it out. But you know, you guys are always welcome to check it out as well you know what I'm saying if I don't buy it if you guys won't see me post it like I bought it I mean it doesn't mean that y'all can't buy it you know you guys have that opportunity as well so and like I said if I pass on any of the vehicles that I post which is very rare for me to post a car that I don't buy but hey you never know right um, in this case it's different though because it's gonna be at the dealership so we don't know what we're gonna be doing with that so we're just gonna go check it out like I said it's it's a pretty bad day you can't really do much so I don't know the car just popped up and you know when a car just pops up like constantly and stuff you'd be like oh, let's go check it out so we're gonna go check it out see what's all to it and uh, see what y'all think so let's go all right guys we made it out here at this dealership uh, I think it's called what does it say right there? Can't see. Hold on. At uh, High Highline Auto Sales. About to check out this Impala. Still the most in the middle of A lot of high end cars, huh? Yeah. So how the hell y'all end up with this car? Uh, we sell. We sell. Uh, well, the owner of the car. You said you know him. He's yeah, a, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a good. He, he owns, we sell a bunch of his cars. Oh, okay. Trigger charger, charger? Yeah. So is it like still his or y'all oh, got, no, got some? We're selling it, we're helping him sell it. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. It's on consignment. Gotcha, gotcha. You guys don't get a lot of hits from it or what? Yeah, man, it's like the hottest car right now we actually have. Is it for real? Or not. Yeah, man. That's crazy, I huh? I can show you like I have like 50 leads <laughs> of this, this one. So why is it still here? It's just a lot of people are trying to finance the car. Yeah. It's really hard to finance in the year mileage of it. Gotcha. So it has to be like a cash deal. I gotcha. Yeah, because I think you guys, uh, when you guys have it uh, promoting it, it says that uh, y'all can finance. That's yeah, probably... I, I, we, we, like, that's what we tried it with a couple people, but just due to the year mileage of it, it's a lot harder. Yeah. Unless you have like a really huge down payment down. Gotcha. Uh, like, Let me see if I can grab the key for you, okay? Okay, okay. Well, here it is, gang. It's a 96 Chevy Impala. With a big 7 inch lip. 26 inch 4G auto wheels. Twisted Magnus. Gold face. Got the matching. Like, you know, I can see it. Impala SS. Gold the center with the chrome kind of matches the wheels. Got a chrome Impala SS emblem. Oh, okay, he got gold tip for the exhaust. I'm guessing he got both. Smoked out the tail lights. Okay, oh, even the back one right here as well. Oh, 
okay, okay. It's locked right now. They have it on the trickle charger. Got a clean engine bay. Usually they all be rusted from right here and stuff. Right here from the front right here, they be rusting. These things always look dirty. Got the aftermarket headlights, They're smoked out as well. What we got here? Custom Impala plate. And sixes. With the antennas go. <laughs> Big lip. I even got the custom wing. Sounds oh, nice and quiet. What's this one that y'all got here? Um, same here and everything. It just has really low mileage on this one. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'll pull it up for you right now, man. This is a 96 too? Yeah, 96. 65,000 miles, 29,995. So the same, same exact price. Same price? That's crazy. Which one you think is better? I don't know. I'm not really about the... <laughs> you don't want to answer that? These are considered dunks, aren't they? Dunks. No, man. They're not considered dunks. See, a dunk is kind of like a, from 1971 yeah. to 75. Uh, okay. Or 76. Chevy Impala and Caprices, but... Now, just because it got big wheels, it'll, it's not a dunk. Yeah. I know a lot of people call it dunks, but now nah, it's not a dunk. I'm not really familiar with it, but I know I've heard a few guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had an Infiniti QS56 that we sold for them, and it had four GI. Oh, on the silver too. one? Yeah, yeah, we sold that one for them. One, yeah. one of my good guys, he bought it. He has oh, Bentleys and stuff, he bought it. Nice. Just ribs. Nice. Yeah, now, dunks is like old cars. Yeah. Like from 70s, so like early 70s. Yeah, this is not a dunk. Just because it got big wheels. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, you know what I'm saying? Because you kind yeah, of yeah. people walk in here, you like it's a dunk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they'll be like, what the heck? Yeah, they're going to be like, oh, you know, that yeah, ain't a good. dunk. Thanks for educating me. The more I know, man. Oh, you're good, man. I got two dunks. That's oh, what I'm Okay, so, okay. You know? That's our thing, gang. Nice car, sounds good. See the mileage. 97,000 miles. This got a clean carpet. Oh, uh, yeah, we pull it up real quick for that. Okay. Sunroof. Do you know this is a factory sunroof car or they uh, have to market it? Uh, the radio, what was that? The yeah. sunroof. The sunroof? Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to, I'd have to ask them. That's kind of hard to zoom in. Yeah, that's a Carfax on it. Five, five, six. Oh, okay, so y'all have the Carfax in the paste too. Yeah, oh, okay. we have Carfax for every one of our cars. In a really tight spot to show y'all, but maybe I can show y'all the back seats. You pop the trunk? Oh uh, yeah. I think it's got a pop in the glove what? box. Is it in the glove box? Yeah, it's in the glove box. Why is it hard to See, everybody always has problems to focus on stuff like this. What we got here? Ford Twelves. Scar Audio. Not sure what he got for amps or batteries or whatnot, but it's got Ford Twelves right here. 
Alright, alright. Oh, well, looks like a really nice car. Not sure what's all done to it. Let's see this quarter panel. Got a lot of tire shine, it just got detail. It looks clean. I don't know gang, what y'all think? Looks nice. Should we take the OG one? He locked it. Oh, you good. Yeah, it's kind of dark to show y'all. It's got a tinted window. Yeah, I will. So what was it? They said the asking price was thirty thousand, pretty much twenty nine ninety five. Twenty nine ninety five. Ninety six. Yeah, they got some nice new cars. Audi i8. See, I'm not really familiar with none of these cars. That's a pretty cool wing. Goes up and down, I'm guessing. I have no knowledge of none of this stuff, guys. So, probably we have to ask CJ. He knows all about these cars. None of it's locked. Yeah, they're locked. It's pretty nice, though. Just never see myself driving stuff like this because I'm always kind of like up and down and you know unless we going out on a date so what we got here I think this is a Supra the new ones yep Toyota Supras see I only know about Supras because Fast and the Furious and I don't even know if people still like them like that I know back then it was a big deal they look cool though it almost looks like an Eclipse back in the day definitely has different uh, body lines I don't know why when I see cars like this I just think they all turbo but I'm not sure if we got a batch here GR what's this right here Oh, it's a Jaguar. This looks like a Jaguar. It's got like the lights of a Jaguar and stuff, so yeah. I guess it's a nice car. Hello. This looks like a compact car. It's got plates. Probably somebody's car. Oh, well, they got a Benz. 560. Now every time I see a bench, it reminds me of CJ. And I don't know anything about these. It's probably locked. Yep, they're locked. It almost looks like it's, it's bent, but I know this is a smaller one because he got like a GT63. I think this is a small, what is this? That's a 560. Yep, don't know what that is. We got Tesla trucks. Oh, we got the big horn out there. Y'all see it? <laughs> What's this? The new Hummer? No. <laughs> Bronco? What is this? Oh, this is a Hummer. This looks dope. This Hummer looks nasty. Looks very pricey. This thing is nasty. Well guys, I don't want to bore you guys with all these cars. Just came to see that car and let's see, see what they talking about. Well guys, what y'all think about the 96 Impala SS? I want everybody right now to get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard the price. The price on the car was $29,995. So pretty much $30,000. Uh, it's a nice car. Uh, you can tell it's been repainted in certain spots. 
Uh, it's got 26 inch forgiados with a seven inch lip, gold plated with the match steering wheel. Uh, looks like the seats have been redone. Didn't see any rust, which is a good thing. It's got a little mileage. I think it had like what 90 something. That's good. Uh, it's a 96 with a floor shifter. That's good as well. It looked like it had a clean Carfax from what I remember he was trying to show me. Um, but I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I really, uh, it's a car that I really need because um, the car is pretty much already done. So there's not much I can do besides maybe change wheels and stuff and little stuff that are uh, here and there. But I mean, it is a higher priced car for me to do that. So I don't know. Like I said, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. And like I said earlier in the video, if you guys are interested, I show you guys where the, the car was at at that dealership. Y'all can just Google that. Um, that dealership and you guys will see the car there and see all the information about the car if you guys are interested. They also got that stock one next to it, which is the exact same car, same color. That one has lower miles, but they're asking the same price. So you can either get a stock one for the same price with low mileage or you can get a customized one for the same price so i guess that's up to y'all to which one y'all rocking with but yeah guys uh let me know in the comment section if you we buy it or should we just pass on and move on to see what else comes up um like i said it was just one of them things that i seen the car keep popping up on my feed i was like hey let's go check it out it might be a sign but you know i don't know like i said it is a higher price market car so not sure, you know what I'm saying? Um, bubbles are cool, but I'm more like a dunk, you know, uh, box Chevy. I don't know. I just feel like every car got its own market price for me. So, But hey, that car is nice. It does got its goods. And it's got its, I guess, things that I would do different. So, well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thanks for watching.